Hello dear traders, today is the 30th of November and you're watching Financial News on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. The US dollar opened the third Asian session in a row with a fall against the Japanese yen. But as analysts expected, this weakness is temporary. The release of the US data yesterday showed the favorable economic environment. The US Commerce Department released its second GDP estimate on Tuesday. The US GDP expanded 3.2% in the third quarter, which is higher than initial estimate of 2.9% growth and 1.4% growth in the second quarter. Moreover, the Consumer Confidence Index climbed to 107.1 in November, much stronger than a 100.8 gain in October. Analysts had forecast a rise to 101.2 points. This indicates high consumer optimism, which bolsters further economic growth in the United States. Such upbeat indicators are certainly bullish for the US dollar and allow the greenback to resume its steady advance against its major counterpart. Yesterday, the US dollar index touched an intraday high of 101.60 and fell to 100.90 late Tuesday. Today, the index has been regaining losses and is trading higher at 101.15. Analysts assume the US dollar index to rise to 101.50 later today. However, the dollar's rise is capped by jitters about the crucial event for the oil market, the OPEC summit in Vienna. The Japanese yen quickly rebounded against the US dollar in the mid-afternoon trade. Today, the yen has weakened again in light of October preliminary data on Japan's industrial production. According to the flash estimates, Japan's industrial production rose for a third straight month in October amid robust exports which offset soft domestic demand. Industrial production slowed down a pace of growth to 0.1% in October from a solid climb of 0.6% in September. Analysts had expected a 0.1% decline. In the Asian trade today, the dollar-yen pair hit an intraday low of 112.20 and is now trading at 112.85. The pair is set to follow its rise. Resistance is seen at 113.40. Experts say Japan's economy will likely head for a recovery in 2017, helped by a pickup in exports and the effects of the economic stimulus measures. So the dollar-yen pair is expected to display fierce struggle on Forex next year. And this was Daily Financial News on Insta TV. Stay tuned.